Hey everybody, this is Pastor Sean Owen from Cross Point Church in Wentford, Oklahoma. With you, God is awesome and the Bible is cool. Vlog. Today I have three words for you. Just say no. <laughs> Just say no was a campaign slogan to help reduce drug abuse back in the 1980s in the United States. And it was just say no to drugs. And it, this became rampant. It was everywhere in American schools. It was blasted on television and radio. It actually became kind of an icon of the time and the culture. You know, in Paul's epistle to Titus, he instructs his protege, telling him that we are able to say no to sin and unrighteous living. Here's what he says. Titus chapter 2, verse 11 through 14. It says, For the grace of God has appeared that offers salvation to all people. It teaches us to say no to ungodliness and worldly passions and to live self-controlled, upright, and godly lives in this present age while we wait for the blessed hope, the appearing of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us to redeem us from all wickedness and to purify for himself a people that are his very own, eager to do what is good. Just say no. What's being said here is that we have the ability to avoid and or defeat temptation. That's what Paul is saying. And in fact, so much that he tells us that we have the power to do this because it comes from the grace of God. The message is pretty clear here. If we allow the Holy Spirit to control us and direct our paths, we can resist Satan's schemes to get us to fall away. The Bible instructs us throughout, uh, but it, it, it instructs us how we can... Uh, practically defeat temptations and live righteously. Scripture directs us, for example, to avoid various situations that will lead to sin. It gives us examples of men running from temptation in order not to fall. I think of uh, Joseph uh, when he was tempted by Potiphar's wife. If we can learn and follow the guidelines of the word, we can have the fortitude to stand up and resist giving in to our own evil desires. In fact, Paul tells us that we can have the self-control to avoid sinning. Now, that actually does include the sins that we struggle with the most. Those addictions to drugs and alcohol, pornography. The, the, the sins of pride in our lives and self-centeredness. Those, those, that anxiety uh, that we face, the, that we, we give into. These things that we struggle with the most, what the Word of God is telling us is that we can say no and we have the ability to, um, uh, to, to resist the temptations to give in to those things. See, if we allow the Holy Spirit to direct our actions, those nagging temptations, when they present themselves, we have the ability to resist. Because here's why. The power of Him who is in you is so much stronger than the power of the beast that is tempting you to sin. So, as the slogan goes, just say no. In other words, understand that you have the ability to just say no to sin. You have the power through the grace of God to resist. So don't be discouraged. The next time you're faced with a situation where you may fall, choose to say no. Stand up. Invoke the power of the Holy Spirit that's within you. You can do it. You can live righteously because... The power of Christ allows you to do it. So claim that promise in his name today. Amen.